Hi guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. This is me, Alicia. If this is your first time here, and if not, welcome back. All right, so this is not the video that's supposed to go live today. Um, uh, for those that have been paying attention to the schedule that I've been posting towards the end of all the videos, which is really made to kind of give you guys like a heads up, like a channel lineup, but then also to hold me accountable, today was supposed to be the baby shower vlog, and it's not my fault. All of the footage that I have recorded has already been edited. However, I really wanted to incorporate the eight to 10 minute footage of the baby shower vlog because I literally got none of that. <laughs> um, as you can probably expect, I got no footage from that. So I really wanted to incorporate the footage from my professional videographer that I paid and hired to do that. And she normally has like around a two week turnaround, but she's been traveling, so it might be another week or two. So we're just going to record this video early. And then as soon as she gives me that footage, I'm going to dump it into my existing vlog and post it on there. So hopefully, next Sunday, if not definitely the Sunday after. So let's just get right into today's video. All right, so for those that have been following me on Instagram, of course we moved, we are in the living room section of our new house, which I'm definitely excited about. Um, but with new houses come new decorations. And I knew, I every time we buy a house or move into a different space, I like to completely change out whatever decorations that I had. So our first house, our townhouse we had, I don't think, I think that was like a hodgepodge of stuff. <laughs> um, the house that we moved into in the suburbs was definitely farmhouse, which I don't think you guys saw a lot of because that's when I was like first starting out. I was doing a lot of like natural hair vlogging so you guys didn't see a lot of decoration. Moved into the apartment and it was very uh, chic. It was very chic and clean and timeless moved into the other house that you guys are probably more used to seeing and it was very bohemian. This one we're going very modern. We're going, I moved into it, I'm just like, I want this to be very modern. I want a lot of blacks, I want a lot of whites, I want a lot of crisp lines. I want it to walk, I want it to seem like you're walking into like a modern art gallery. That was definitely the vibe that I was going for. So, I had to get some new different home decorations. Most of the stuff that I'm showing you guys is gonna be black because that's definitely the home decor that I was going for. The furniture that we have here is white and grays, and so I really wanted to do like a lot of black decor. So showing you guys, I wanna say 10 different pieces that I got from Amazon, and the reason why I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys now before I show you just generally the home tour or portions of the home tour is because it might sell out sooner than later and I'm trash when it comes to being an influencer and have yet to start an Amazon storefront. That is on my to-do list for July. Yeah, so just showing you guys, like I said, 10 different home decor pieces that I have picked up from Amazon to kind of like help decorate. I'm gonna be showing them here, and then once I actually show you guys the home tour, you'll be able to see where I incorporated those pieces into the house. So I'm gonna stop talking, let's just go ahead and get right into it. All right, let's just start at the beginning. I picked up this cute, chic, three-piece candle set. I, you guys know I'm obsessed with candles, I have, so much so that Bath and Body Works had their semi-annual sale and I was gonna shop and my husband went and counted my candles. He was like, Alicia, you literally have 85 candles. It's a no. So I wasn't able to shop the candle sale. But that just lets you know how much I love candles. So I actually got two of these. I got a one for the living area and then one for our bedroom, but it is this cute matte black set. We have the wick cutter because please cut your wicks. Please cut your wicks, please cut your wigs that's where a lot of people are like oh i don't understand why i'm getting like the black around the inside of the candle jar it's because you lit the candle and the wick was too long cut it candle wick we have the snuffer now i don't really use this that much because most of my candles have the lid so i literally just like pop the lid on there to snuff it out apparently i've been told you shouldn't do that you should actually use a snuffer to snuff it out so i got this um, I'm not really sure what this thing is. I've never used it, but it came in a set, so I love it. And then I love that it also came with a little matte black container. So I just literally have this sitting on our entryway console because it's a little hodgepodge of like all of the art deco that I picked up. So love this. Um, I don't remember the pricing, but I'll make sure that I put either the pricing here. If not, the pricing will definitely be listed in the description box. But 
cute little candle wick trimmer set. Love it. All right, next up on just like general home decor stuff, black pompous grass. I'll put up a picture. I actually have this pompous grass in the living room as well as our master bathroom because I'm kind of going with like the black theme throughout the main level of the house. I'm actually like this close. Let me show you. I don't know if I can see you. Yeah, like those are the stairs. Ignore the Amazon boxes. Those are the stairs right there. I am this close from getting the stairs painted black. I just, it's just something about light hardwood with black stairs. I've been like, I'll put up a Pinterest picture here. Amazing. My husband was like, Alicia, let's just, let's get a little settled first before you go. Because I've already painted the entire house already. It needed it. It needed a little facelift. But I'm this close for painting the black, the stairs black. Anyway, because the railing's also black. So it just kind of like makes sense. Totally off subject. So this plump, pompous grass, I love it. It comes short, but then it also comes with like extenders if you want to make it really, really tall. So I kept it short in some of the pieces in the vase that we have here in the living room. And then in the vase that we have in the bathroom, I did add the extenders on it because the vase is pretty deep, but I absolutely love it. I think it gives a little pizzazz. Um, I really like pompous grass. You guys saw that I had pompous grass in the living room. Um, but I think that making it black instead of the normal color literally switches it from being like a boho chic to a modern because it's simply a black color. So love this. I think I want to say I got like two or three different orders of the black pompous grass because it's just so much goodness. All right. The last thing in general, like home decor that's black is this black coffee table display coffee table book display stand <laughs> um and here's the thing i didn't even know that these are like really a thing or that i even wanted to do it but our book club recently did our book club meeting and um it was this ladies loft so i'm not going to show you pictures even though i took a picture just for reference and her loft was decorated so immaculately and i was obsessed with her coffee table decor like i'm literally going to mimic it like i'm going to copy it word for word i'm, I'm not even gonna lie and so in that she had this massive acrylic book stand now hers was white no hers was acrylic so it was clear i knew that i wanted to try to find something in black but she had like there was the rihanna book that you guys have seen it was a massive rihanna book that was sitting here and she just like had it opened up to like a different page and it was gorgeous i am obsessed with her coffee table decor i knew i wanted to do the same thing in my house so i got their oversized coffee table after months of trying to find what i really wanted and instead of doing the rihanna i actually do have the um a basquiat because i'm not really obsessed but i really just like i've grown to appreciate um basquiat's paintings and his work of art and his life story and all that kind of stuff so i did order a very large coffee table book from amazon i'll link it below because it hasn't gotten here yet um but the reason why i'm going to link it below is because it's regularly like 153 when i ordered it the day before yesterday and it was supposed to come in today so sorry um and now i got rescheduled for a couple days later but when i ordered it it had like a 50 dollars off coupon so and it was brand new so the 150 down to like 103 so i'm gonna link it in case you guys want it but it's definitely an oversized coffee table book so i got it to go into this and i'll just probably like turn to have like a different piece or a different painting of his every couple of weeks but love this this is very hard this is very uh sturdy i know that because i got one that was flimsy i was like i'm not paying 60 dollars for a display stand so i got the cheap one off of amazon for 20 bucks and the book wasn't even open for two seconds and it broke i kid you not it broke so i was like all right let me just invest if i don't like it i will take it back but this is a little penny like i said this is like between 50 and 60 dollars but the quality of it is absolutely amazing i got two um, so I got one to go here in the living room to put the Basquiat painting on and then, or the Basquiat book on. And then I also got one for our master bedroom because we have a book of like our engagement and wedding photos. So I just have it opened up to my favorite set. So it's just sitting on our dresser right now because our TV is mounted, but love this. And it's black. You don't see this. I know people are like, Ugh, but this, of course, this is where the book's going to be, but that that's so chic.
while we're at it. So I did get a couple of different coffee table books from Amazon. I will link those below. Brown Bohemians, which is a black owned coffee table book you definitely need to have. I've had it for years. Um, so it's not something that I just picked up, but you definitely need to pick that up. Live Beautiful, what's that? My alarm telling me to go ahead and start my YouTube video. Early, starting <laughs> early. Um, so yeah, I'll link a couple of different coffee table books. Husband actually has a ton downstairs. I'm very jealous because I was gonna get the Louis Vuitton book, he already got it. And I was gonna get the Tom Ford book, but he already got it. And I just didn't feel like it was like, even though it's in his man cave, I'm like, I don't feel like the same book needs to be in the household twice. So I've been having to go outside the lines. So one of the coffee table books that I picked up was Cafe Culture. And this is for lovers of coffee and good design. Of course, you know I was gonna get this book. I love it. It's about, I don't know, 10, maybe 11 by 11. It's actually a pretty decent sized book. I have it sitting on our coffee table and I'll show you exactly what I have sitting on top of it. Um, but yeah, I love it. It gives all the different coffee cafes across the world. I absolutely love it. Um, I haven't really gone through as much as I should, but like I said, it does just have, it literally just has different coffee table books around the world and then kind of like a detail or a story about how like they roast their coffee or where they get their coffee beans from but picked this up from amazon so this is the coffee table book and what i have on top of it is this cute little it's showing up as like stark white on the video but it's definitely a cream color a little cute wooden knot thing and i just have it like sitting on top of this on the coffee table and there is two other books under it but i just kind of how i like how that is like chic but modern and simple so that's what i got from amazon amazon just has like all the good stuff so that's a set that i was very excited once it worked out for me <laughs> All right, last up and just like general home decor and then we're gonna go to kitchen and then we're gonna wrap this up. Um, is this little chic little vase. I've been um, not really obsessed, but I've really been like playing into quirky type of decor things. Like I, I am really into like vases that have different aesthetics about them. I love um, the different, like I have like a black hand. I just, I just like different things that kind of like be like, oh, where did you get that from? So I kind of love this. It has a space to put a candle, but I think I'm going to leave it just like this. Love it. It was relatively inexpensive i want to say less than 30 dollars, but i definitely think that it's this and then this kind of like adds a different element and it kind of sits like that i don't want to put it down but if my hand was flat it would sit like that so i'll just have it sitting on one of our shelves i would really i'm tempted <laughs> i'm tempted to buy it again and painting it black and now that i said it out loud i actually am definitely going to do that and i'm going to have one like this and then the black one will be right behind it gonna do that because this feels it's very it's not like rough rough but you can tell it's not smooth so it's definitely it felt like it's already primed to be spray painted so I think I'm either gonna spray paint it or just paint it so I'll have one white and then one black all right first thing in the kitchen we have this cute black chic plant watering can I love it is it practical no I have 30 plus plants because some of them didn't make it in the move. I thought I had only lost three in the actual move and then as I'm starting to like water them and I'm starting to like give them TLC, some of them just didn't make it. So I'm pretty sure, pretty sure I'm at in like the high 30s right now, which is fine. Um, my mom's like, you're not gonna have any when the kid gets here and I'm like, why would, I know plenty of people that have kids that have plants. Anyway, so I picked this, actually picked two of them up. So I have one for upstairs because I do have a lot of plants in like my office has some plants. I put plants in all of the guest rooms. I'm putting plants in the kids room. So I did get one for upstairs and one for downstairs because I know that this isn't like practical to do both spaces um but i just love it i love that it's matte black i really wish that this was still continuing black i had thought about um painting this black and i was like why alicia no one's really going to see it i do have it sitting out on the kitchen counter but i just have it sitting like like this 
so you can't really see that the wood is like back here but i love it it was one of those things where i'm just like i literally put in matte black decor and this popped up i like it all right still in the kitchen we picked up probably need to take that off matte black paper towel holder if you guys saw in the previous house i did like a rose gold with like a gray marble but in the kitchen and i will show you guys i'll have to show you guys the kitchen in a second because um some of the things that i got i'm not taking off to show you so i'm just gonna show you guys in the kitchen um but i got this matte black cute paper towel holder there's literally nothing special about it other than the fact that it's matte black and i love it and i've been obsessed with black lately so I also got a matte black napkin holder. And the reason why I like this one is because it is matte black, right? But it also has leaves in it, so it still gives a homage to the boho chic vibe that I had in the other house. So it's matte black, so it's giving me modern, but then the leaf element, leaf element all throughout the design, is giving me very much our older house, so which, I'm like, I'm obsessed with this house, but I still get very nostalgic about our old house. So anyway, so that's why I got this cute matte black napkin holder. All right, moving on into the kitchen portion of the video today, because I was not lifting this. First things first, we have this matte black knife set you guys i still kept some of the gold elements so the base is definitely matte black the seal the scissors in here are also black but then we also have the gold handles on it and i love it i was gonna get one that was like um either solid black or like solid white and gold and i definitely saw some options on amazon but i was really i when i when i came across this one i was like okay this one kind of does the best of both worlds it gives me the solid black which is what i'm looking for but then the handles are also gold so absolutely love this set i'm gonna put it down because it is astronomically heavy all right last thing and i have you guys over here so you guys can see it is the knobs and the pulls and for those that are like looking to make like general and i'm no home interior designer by a long shot i I love working on like my house, but it's not a profession. But one of the main things that I feel like I do going into a house is I immediately start looking for like simple, quick ways to change up the way that a house feels. And I've done this with every house that we've purchased, even the apartment that we were in, is I immediately went in and I replaced the um, knobs and the pulls in the house, just because I feel like it like adds a little pizzazz. I did that to the house that you guys have previously seen. They had silver handles. I switched them out to gold. And so for this house, she also had silver. And as much as I wanted to switch out to gold, I felt like black was a better color because black like i said the staircase is black all of the hardware down here um all the patio doors they're all black it just made more sense for me to do black so i did go to amazon and i bought these knobs and pulls so one you can have them one vertical and one horizontal i mean they go either way but i like this it's weird i know but i like to see that i feel like it adds a little bit a little bit extra um <laughs> um to the kitchen so i did do that and then i did switch out all of the pulls on all of the cabinets to black pulls and i just feel like it adds a little extraness to this space like i said i did that to all of the cabinets here and then all of the cabinets over there and then i also did do it to the guest bathroom and then our master bathroom because those are the two bathrooms that are on the first floor and i just felt like that coupled with the paint job that we had to do throughout the house i feel like it just like elevated the space more so i love it quick simple inexpensive i would say inexpensive i want to say the pools were like 50 bucks and i want to say the cabinet the well, the knobs were like 50 bucks i want to say the pools were a little bit more expensive because i did have a lot more pulls than knobs and I had to replace them in other areas of the house. So I wanna say that cost probably like $200. So it's definitely something inexpensive that you can do to switch out and make the whole house look a little bit more chic and updated. So I love it. All right, so guys, that is the it of this little mini Amazon home decor haul. Um, I feel like I'm missing some stuff, including the bar stool that I'm sitting on. So there's that. I did get some bar stools from Amazon, um, but maybe I'll wait until I do a home tour 
to show those. But I will link absolutely everything that I mentioned below in the description box. Like I said, I am doing it now because I know that Amazon has a tendency to like sell out of some things and redo some things. And so I just kind of wanted to go ahead and get those chic pieces over to you guys. Um, like I said, I don't really know what's coming next Sunday. I know me and husband are leaving Tuesday. Yeah, so the day after tomorrow to go on our baby moon. So I am gonna vlog that. Um, and maybe that will be the next video since we'll be back on Saturday. So I'll have time to put it up. I don't know, but I feel like with the with the video in flux and I'm not really sure when I'm gonna get that footage, it's kind of like holding a bunch of other things back. So maybe we'll do baby moon vlog, baby shower vlog home decor update and then we'll be back on schedule for all the other videos that I have planned out so um if you have made it this far in the video you have not subscribed please don't forget to subscribe also click the notification bell so you don't miss any videos from he from me oh <laughs> while you're here guys go ahead and like comment and subscribe do all the things that the other youtubers tell you to do and I'm gonna catch you guys next Sunday